Hi guys, uh, this is the video I promised. I'm going to do a grav tank, a black grav tank, start to finish. Uh, so what I've done is so far is I've primed and prime grey then prime black the tank. Uh, things that are going to stay black, so fins under the nose and the what you call these little things that go on the guns on the side, they're going to be black. I've also gone ahead and primed these grey and then just primed them, uh, primed them, painted them with uh, Vallejo Premium Metallic Black. Just, it's the boring bit, so I just got it over with. So that's all it is, it's grey primer and then base coated with this. That's all, that's as far as we've got so far. So, prime black. These are your sub-assemblies, which is all your engine blocks. Engine blocks, guns. Uh, I've cleaned all the, these like little sprues and stuff, so I've cleaned them all up. So these are like sub assemblies. I keep them on the gates because it's easy to paint. Plus, when you cut them off here, focus. When you cut them off here, you don't see the edge. So when you glue it in, you don't see it. Same with these. Prime these the same, so these stay on the sprue because once you snap them off at the bottom, a little bit of file paint on black again, perfect. Engine pods, uh, engine pods, so here and here. These come on one sprue, but I've split them up like that. And then your gun mount at the front. So that's it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the red first on these. So what I'll do, I'll do one side of one side pod and the middle and these. And then I'll wait for the paint to dry. And then I'll do the red. I'll do the other side off camera. And then we'll do the red. So that'll be our first stage. And after that, we've got to mask them off with parafilm, which I'll show you how to do. And then we're going to do the black, black effect. So colours we're going to use is, off the top of my head, it is Minita, Minita, Raven Black, is it? Yeah, Raven Black, Forge Rule, Corvus Black, Vallejo Modeler, Engine Grey, and Comart or Paint White. So let's get started. So I'll move these over here because we're doing the red first. Here we go. So the first colour we're going to use, so the colours we're going to use for this, I should really should tell you, is Premium Black Metallic, Game uh, Chainmail. Gamer Silver and Tamiya Clear X27A. Now with this clear red, if you've not got a big needle, say below 0.3, uh, you're going to need to thin it with X28A thinner. You, where I do it in one coat, you have to do it in a couple of coats. But apart from that, that's the only difference if you've got a small needle in your airbrush. So first of all, move we'll these to one side. We get the back from the airbrush. Split this into its sections. Exhale. So, the airbrush. Shake. So this first bit, I've shown you in another video. All these panels here, these panels here, completely metallic black. So we'll do that on camera. Got a nice even coat. Like that. Flip it over. Do the other side. Doesn't matter if you go out the side of the lines because we're gonna once we've masked it off and done the red, when we've done the red and masked it off, you're gonna spray it black again anyway, so save with these panels here. I think we'll have to do this video, well, this tutorial, a few videos, because trying to do one video is going to take forever. So, uh, so we'll let that dry a minute. Put that over there. That's it. Good boy. Same with this one. If anyone's interested in what airbrush you use, 
which is an Iwata HPCH. Uh, it's got this thing, it's got a 0.3 needle in this one. So, put that over there, let that one dry. Same with these. Put it in camera muggy. Right on here, on this one, I'm going to do this panel here, this panel here, this panel here. So I just blow it up the front, nice and run it, same with this one. So, I'll let that dry for a few seconds, I'll go clean my airbrush and then we'll do the next colour. Someone said they like the sound effects of my airbrush being cleaned. It's, uh, it's me just using water and dumping it out of my bucket. Excuse <laughs> <coughs> me, I've got a little cold. Right, here we go. So we'll move that over there in a minute. So your next colour is going to be Gamer Chainmail. Give that a shake. So like I said in the other, let me just take my other shot. So like I said in the other video, this has got a shape to it. So as you can see, it curves down, but if you also look, there's a line here. So what we wanna do is blow the chain mail, starting a little bit from away from the top down and stop before the end, and then try and blow a little bit just over that line so you get a blend between the two colours. With these ones here you're going to try and hit not quite the top but in the middle of the panel so you get like a black ring around the, around the panel. So I'll show you how to do that now. So like I said, I, like I said in the other video, I find, if, you, if you tilt it down like that you can see the line here. So if I, I always paint it, so if you tilt it down, so if you tilt it down, so you want to start about a little bit over. It's hard to do this through camera. There we go. Right. So you want to start about there, and then blow it up. So you want to stop just before the end. As you can see. Use a bit more in the middle here. So that gives you that. So you've got a bit of blend going onto this panel. You've got a black line at the top, so we'll do the other side as well. Stop before the end. So We've got that effect going on. Right, these panels, so you want to hit these panels here on this top radius and down a bit. So let me show you like this. So not quite to the top. You want to blow it down the panel, but you want to try and leave a bit of black showing. As you can see, do the other side. Same again, not quite the top. Try and leave a black outline out the side. And that's that's how you do that section. So we'll let that dry a minute and we'll jump on to these ones. So here, these ones, I try and leave a black line at the bottom and then try a little bit more black at the top. So I try and blow it in the center of this panel. So we'll start a bit further up from the bottom here, like this, and blow it up the panel. Just to about there. See? So you've got that effect. So you've got you've got the black transition going from black metallic to chain mail down to black metallic again. So we'll do the other side. As you can see, both the same. 
There we go. So, we're on these ones. <coughs> Excuse me. You want this transition, you want black at the top, black here. So what we're going to do, we're going to blow this halfway up this panel. So. About there. Same with these ones. Right there. Right there. So, we've got that effect now. So we might as well do the other side. It says we're changing colours again. So I'll show you on this one again. So you want to start just here, finish here. Blend it over this edge. So. Same on this side. Same that one. So this one again, middle of the panel, not quite at the top. Once you've done a few of these, you get quite fast at it. So. As you can hear me pulsing my airbrush, I find I have more control. Instead of going like this and going everywhere if you pulse it so if you get your trigger and pulse it like this you can flick the colour where you want it so that's that one's done so I'll clean my airbrush and we'll change the colour again <coughs> So this time we're going to use chainmail silver. So I'll put some of this in my airbrush. Uh, bottle blocked. One second. Here we go. So this time. We go. So this time, what we're going to do. Is we're going to ghost it in the centre of this panel as well now. So you don't want to go, it's hard to say, you just want to go in the middle, but you want to ghost it in. So you don't want a massive, bright silver spot, you just want a, 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 a smooth, like a, a mist coat of silver. So we're going to put it here. So here we go. That's all you need. As you can see, there's just change colour and that, so we'll do this side. Like that. You can see these side panels. Just want to do it at the top, this where this curves over. So there and at the top of that one. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll show you that again on this other one. So, like this, so you want to ghost it, just there, same on this side, right, and then oh, here for the top, on this side, that's them two dump, now this one you want to get right in the centre, just where it curves up at the top, right at the top here, I'm going to put a ghost of beard or so there. So that's a bit there. A bit there, as you can see. That's a bit more there. They're both the same. These ones, you only want a tiny bit of silver on these, so you want to go right at the, right at the tip of its nose, and right at the edges of here. So, I'll show you how to do that. So you really want to aim here, this point here. And then same again here, you don't want to aim on the panel, you want to aim just off the panel. Water. So you just want to aim off the panel. Like that. Like that. And that gives you that. So, next. Red. Right there. So 
So, for the red, I'm going to change airbrushes. I have a Badger 105. See this, as you can see, it's absolutely knackered, but it does the job. I think this has got a 0.4 or a 0.5 needle in it, I can't remember. But it's, it's bigger than me, a water one, so it's a... Uh, I find it easier to use. Uh, I yeah, I find it easy to use with a red. I can get away with one coat instead of two, three, depending on how much you thin it. Just, there we go. So this colours we're going to use now, Tamiya X27. Give it a shake. Awesome makeup. So. Right, so on this one, one coat, so you can just mist a bit on at the beginning, like this, just to give it a key, and then we're going to go one coat, so you'll see it, it, you'll see when it goes right, because it goes, it'll only go to a certain red, and then it'll go like glass and self level, as you can see. <laughs> that one done. So we'll put that to one side, we'll let that dry. Same with these panels. Give it a bit of a mist coat first. And then one layer. See, just like glass. So That's, that's red, so we'll put that to one side, let that dry. These ones, same again. Bit of a mist coat just for give it a key. Right, so same again. And people keep asking me what pressure I'm using. Uh, I don't really look at my pressure, I usually, usually just control it with my finger, but I'd say about 25, 30 psi you should be fine. So, there you go. Ooh, bit of an orange peel, look at that. There we go. So that's that one. We'll put that to one side and let that dry. It. Good boy. Last one. So we'll let that dry and we'll come back and we'll varnish it and then we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and then we'll start masking it off. So uh, I'll do a jump cut and I'll see you in a bit guys. So guys, we're back. So we've left this to dry for 20 minutes. Uh, it's not completely dry but it's good enough for varnish because once we've varnished it we're going to leave it for about an hour until we can mask it. So we're going to varnish it with Liquitex Satin Varnish. I'm going to put a nice wet coat on, but this is how it looks before, as you can see, it actually changes colour in the light. Just like that. So, we're going to varnish it with a satin coat, for one it knocks back the shine a little bit, and for two, the candy red's quite a soft paint, so it gives it that little bit more extra protection. Uh, <coughs> so, we'll get me a brush and we'll put some varnish in my hairbrush. There we go. So, we'll move these out of the way a minute. I'll read each section. So, right, with this, you want to put quite a wet coat on it. As you can see, it's pretty cool, the colour change. So, 
we'll start here. So you want quite a wet coat on this, like this. See, just so it looks shiny. Do the other side. There we go. Same with these bits. So, that's that bit done. So we'll do it to the other piece as well, move this out of the way while it dries. <coughs> Excuse me. Same again. Nice wet coat. Bit there. So that gives you that. Put it there as well. Like this, so I'll move that one out of the way while that dries. Sit, bye. Same with this one. So that side dump. See, that changes in the cut light as well. What's that? Let that dry. And this. See, where, see where this is going a bit powdery as well, here and here. We'll varnish that bit as well. So it just smooths it back out again. So. for about an hour and then when that's dry we'll come back and we'll uh, start masking the red areas off so I'll see you in a minute guys right guys we're back now this has had the time to dry as you can see changes color in the light which is pretty cool so now we're gonna have to mask all these areas off <coughs> excuse me what we're gonna use parafilm you can get this in meters on eBay or in a giant roll like this but giant rolls are expensive but I use a lot of it so it's cheaper for me but I think it's like five quid for five meters or something like that so it's but it goes a long way as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one side for you and then one of these top pieces and then I'll click out of the uh, video I'll finish it off and then we'll do the blacks and stuff uh, it's gonna take me a while it's gonna take me over 20 minutes but do each panel but what you do take the backing paper off don't need that so we're going to do this panel first. So what we want to do, you want to stretch this. You want to stretch this about twice, three times. If you stretch it too far, it grabs too hard. So what you want to do, grab it like this, and pull. So like this, and then you put the other way, and if you grab it right. You should pull. Oh, that middle bit stretched as well. It, you want it like this, so then you do put this on your panel. It's the actual uh, tension, surface tension that holds this on. So we'll get it in shock and it helps. So you want to press this down on here as flat as you can get it. Like that. Like this. So it doesn't matter if there's creases in it, it's just a mask. So. So you want to get it as flat as you can. So now the trick is you need a brand new blade on your scalpel or your Exacto, your whatever you're going to use, a GW knife, whatever. <coughs> so what you want to do is your brand new blade, like I say, you want to trim this down the edges. So let's see if we can do this on camera. So we'll start, what's we we'll start? We'll start here on this edge here. So we'll start here. So what we're gonna do is cut it on this edge. Only very lightly because it's very thin anyway. Oh bit close to my mouth though. So you wanna go around the edge. 
Need as you can get it. Oh, around this edge. Down this panel. Oh, slid off. So I right, can fix that. So I'll down this panel. So you're going to go all the way around. The tricky bits are in these, like, circles here. So, around these circles, nice and slow. In shot. Like this. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you will mess it up. Which probably I've done a little bit because I'm doing it on camera. But I'll show you how to fix that in a second. So down here. Down this edge. Ooh. Down this edge. Back to where you started. So you press it all back down. And it should. Lift off. Like so. So as you can see, that bit can come off. Oh, that bit. as you can see, you now got a mast on it. Just press it all down the edges. Now, if you make a mistake, just get a bit of your off cut, pull it, pull it. So say you had a gap here where you now you you cut onto the panel a bit more. Just Stick it over the top. Like this. And you just cut around the edge again. Like so. Pull this bit off. That's your mass panel. So it doesn't matter if you've gone slightly onto this edge here. Because it's going to be black. You can actually touch this black edge up after neating it up. So that's how you do one panel, so what I'll do, so that's how you do that panel, so what I'll do, I'll switch to this little one, these little ones here, so I've cut a little a smaller part piece off for this one. So I'll take the backing paper off again. There you go. So you want to stretch that way. This way. And then stick it on the panel. Like this. Press it down. <coughs> Excuse me again. So, same with this panel. So you can see on this one, there's slightly a bubble here. So if you've got this bubble here, what you want to try and do, is you want to try and cut it right at the edge of this panel. So where there's a lip here, try and cut it at the top of the ridge. Like this. I go around here. It's not easy doing it with a camera in front of you. So push that down. As you can see, because I've cut it at the top of the panel, when you push down, it flattens onto the surface. So I want to go up here. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Top of here. On this panel. Push that down. I want to go around here. Oh. Come on, mugs. There you go. I like this. We're in this panel, so you're back to where you started. So now, when you pull, pulls off, push it back down. Another panel, last. So I'm going to go all the way around. So some of these off cuts, because these on this bit. They're only small panels, so some of these off cuts you've got, if you pull them, you're not wasting it. Pull that bit off. Like this. Which 
keep doing like that. Right, and then we want to cut up. Same with this one again. Turn the edge. Pressing really lightly because you don't want to cut through to the resin. Because you'll cut straight through the paint. So you want to be really light doing this. On the top of the panel. Oh, get it straight, Muggy. Down this side. Like I say, you do need a new blade because if you're doing it, as you can see, it cuts through here really nicely. Now, if you've got a blunt blade, it just pulls it. It sort of catches it and pulls it, and that's when it messes up. So make sure you've got a new scalpel blade in. You'll be able to do the whole tank with a new scalpel blade, but if you've got had one in your, in your scalpel for a while, it's not going to be sharp enough. So we'll cut the nose of that, and this should just pull off. Right, so, come on, get off, get off, and push it down at the front, at the top, there we go, so what I'm going to do, I'll go around the rest of the tank, and I'll do these panels, and then I'll come back, and we'll do the black, so I'll see you in a minute guys, so we're back, so, all the masks are on, took me about 20 minutes, like I say, if you do it for the first time, just take your time, sharp blade, you got your masks on, everything's masked up. So what we're going to do, we're going to paint the black. So I, these are the colours I use. You could use different colours by all means. Is Minotaur, Raven Black, Forgeable Corvus Black, Modeler, Engine Grey, and Comma Opaque White. It says it's Opaque White, but it's quite translucent really. <coughs> you could swap this Corvus Black for say, ooh, uh, Vallejo Extra Opaque, charcoal I think it's called because it's, it's not a true black it's, uh, it's more of a that really dark charcoal uh, you can transfer that that's not a true black either but you could use Vallejo uh, Gamer Black or something like that so anyway we'll get on with it so we'll get me over brush ready uh, just give me a rinse out a minute So this, you're just going to paint all everything black. So I'll give this a shake. So we're doing all this all over black. So we'll move these out of the way for a minute. Over there. Like so. We'll start with this one. So. Like I said, these these I'd hold I'd hold it here because these are going to be covered by your side panels anyway, and you can get access to all of it. So, like I say, just paint it all black. This is going to be a black metallic underneath, so you don't really need to hit that, just all the other bits. So, got a nice coat of black. I want need some more paint in my airbrush. Same. No. So that's black. Do these. Now I'd hold this here because this is going to be black metallic, this this part here. So 
So if you hold it there, you're sort of fine. Hit the front. You want to make sure you get all the inside of these edges as well. Same on the other side, hit that edge. So that's black, so we'll put that over there to dry a minute. Do the other side. Same again. I'm using my Badger 105 for this because it's just a base coat so you don't have to be precise. A bit more paint. You just want to get a nice black layer down. Same with these edges again. Same with this side. a while to know because we need a little bit more precision so what we're going to do now next color is going to be corvus black or as i say you could use vallejo uh heavy opaque charcoal and it's cold it's the, it's the dark one of the heavy opaque line it's like i say it's not a true black it's like a, as you can see this is more of a of a really dark charcoal. It says it's corvus black, but it's not. So, put a bit of that in my airbrush. So, I'll grab this one again. So, what I want to do is, hang on a minute, I'll be airbrushed in a minute. <coughs> what I want to do is, I want to try and leave some of the black in places, but give it a general coat of thingy. So, we're going to go up these sides on the top of here, around here, on the top. Well, you get it in shot, man. So we're going to go up these sides on the front top. Just leave a bit. This bit, this this part here is going to be gold anyway, and so is this ring going to be gold. So that doesn't matter. So you want to hit the back of here, sides, front here. So I'll show you how we're going while we're doing it. Here we go. So what we want to do, in short, Moggy, on here we want to blow this up this side like this. Same with these here. Top of here, top of there, top of there, top of this ridge, up this, up this side, top of there, this ring, this ring, tops of here. Bit on here at the, at the rear of the back edge so you've got like a bit of black showing this edge like this top of here top of these wing trims same again here this red this ridge here and then the front here you want to hit the front so So you can see the colour change slightly in it. So like I say, this is going to be black, this is going to be gold, this part here. So you don't really need to hit that. So, so that's that one. Okay. So this part now. 
So with this one, we're going to leave some of this black. So we're going to blow halfway up here and halfway back down back on here. So we're going to leave a little bit black there. I'll not get it in shot. So we're going to blow grey here along this edge. So we'll leave a little bit of uh, little black there. So what we're going to do is I'll show you. I'm going to hit it here. Just blow it up that panel. Blow it up that panel. Then I'm going to hit the back like this. See, I've got a little bit of grey going in. See, insides. You're not going to see the inside of there, but we'll do it anyway. Same again this side. Blow it up this panel. Get up there. Hit the back. So, that's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So, this is still a bit wet, so we'll blow it off. We'll just dry it a bit with my airbrush. Just blow air on it, it dries it out quicker. As you can see, you see a wet patch and it'll disappear in a minute. There you go, dry. Right, so on this, we want to blow at the front here. In shot, focus. Here. Halfway up this ridge, miss a bit. Halfway up this ridge, blow it down either side. Blow it down either side here. Top, top, top. Blow a little bit along here. A little bit along there. There, I'll, I'll show you. So, first of all, we're going to get the front. So we're going to hit this right there. And then we're going to get this. Blow it up, then we're going to blow it halfway up the front. And then move back a bit, blow it down either side. So you got that, and we do this one. So I'll blow it, blow it down either side, here. And then on the top of here, top of there. On the sides, I always hit this part here, this part here. Get along there, get along, along here. On the other side, here, here. So now you've got this because this part's going to be gold so you don't really need to hit this you just need to hit the, pa the panels so that's that one side so see it good boy we'll do this one now it all dry yeah so same again hit the front uh, side halfway up here look down this side hit that side Middle, blow it. Middle of there, middle of there. This side, you want to hit the spot here. That bit there. A little bit on the back. A little bit there. This, this spot here. Because all this is going to be covered with the body anyway, so you just want to hit this bit here. I forgot to say, you want to hit the back as well. So I hit the back spine as well. On that one, so I'll do it on this one as well. Being shot, focus. So just here. So that's your second colour down. Clean the airbrush out again, and we'll move to the next colour. Right, the next colour is going to be Vallejo Engine Grey. Number is 71048. So, I'll give that a shake. <coughs> and it's blocked. So, right, same again on here. So, we'll just move these out of the way while they're drying in a minute. There we go. So, now. You want to be more precise with this one though, so you want to hit the very tips of the fronts here and you want to blow from top, tip to up here, up, this, up to about there with this then we're going to go diagonally, so we're going to hit the front of this edge and then we're going to blow it diagonally up there then we're going to hit the tops of these recesses so here we go so we're going to hit, hit it there 
And I'm going to hit this, this side, like this. And then this edge, we're going to we're going to feather it out to it, nothing at the end. So I'm going to start there, and then I'm going to feather it out to nothing. So we'll do that again. Feather it out to nothing. So this raised pit here. So you want a bit, a little. You want to blow a bit on on here and here. So a little bit there, a little bit there. Then you want to hit this where this little notch is. Hit it there. Then these these raised parts here. So this part, this part, and the back. So I'm gonna hit on this edge here. This is, then we're going to hit the middle of this here. Hit these corners. Now these, you can just hit the edges. So front, like this. Then right at the front, I'm going to blow right at the front like that. So now you've got this effect going on. As you can see. So I always put a bit in there as well. Give the teeth to it off. Same again with this, but we're going to go even smaller this time. So we're going to go not as far up with these edges. So you want to hit the front here. Same at the back. These edges. So you want to hit this, this, this. So you want to hit this edge, this edge, this edge. So you've got colour going through it. So I need a bit more of those. There we go. So that's that. So on these ones again. I'm gonna hit the, so you want to make you want to do these in smaller increments really it's the same thing with small increments so instead we went wider with this one we want to hit it more in the middle so not as far down same with this at the top not as far down so you want to hit the nose of this not as far up start there not as far down again hit the middle of that not as far down same with that center of this one center of that one Hit this edge. Back. So now you've got this. So that's that one. We'll do the same again with the other one. So that's the, that's the second third colour. I'm going to wash my rubber shirt again and then we'll do the very top highlight. So it looks it's looking a bit grey at the moment, but when you varnish it back to this stage and start adding all the other colours, it knocks it all back to black. So we're going to use Comart opaque wax. I can say this is as it's opaque, but it's quite translucent. You can make it go up with a lot of layers, it does go opaque, but <coughs> right with this one, you have to be very uh what's the word I'm looking for? Very effective with your airbrush placement. So we're gonna hit so I'm gonna hit the very tips of these, tips of this corner, here, here, raised edge, ridge. What we're gonna spot it, sort of thing. So what we're gonna do. Here, I'm gonna get it in shot so I can see. So you've got that effect now. So you want to hit this edge here, a bit there. So you want to ghost this on, really. So you've got a colour transition. If you make a mistake, I'll show you you can go back and just fill that black bit in again. 
So that's that bit. So on this one, very tips. So I'll show you. Effect. And then this same same again, but you've got to be more precise. So we're gonna hit right in this middle of this point now, just like that. Same at the front, just so you get an effect like that. And then here we want to hit it right at the top here. So, like so same here, right where that circle is, right where that circle is, a little bit there, a little bit there. Hit a little bit of circle here. Same on the other side. Hit this, hit this a little bit, and then right in the centre of here. There you go. Like that. So that's that. <coughs> in shot, Moggy. Hard work doing this through a camera and being try to be precise. Right at the back again, right in the centre. Right, so that's that bit done. So that's your black. Or your base black. Oh yeah, the black. Because after this, we're gonna peel the masks off in a second, and then, then that'll be it for this part one of the video. But the second part, we'll varnish it and we'll start adding the other colours. Uh, what I will do and jump up, jump ahead is all this here, all this is black metallic, so it will be just painted, hand painted with this again, which is premium Leo premium black metallic. So we'll just hand paint all this. It's a bit boring for you on camera anyway, painting this black metallic as well. So what we'll do, we'll get the tweezers and we'll start pulling masks off. So as, as with these, you'll always get, oops, excuse me, you'll always get one little bit that raises up. So you just want to grab it like this. Red. Same again. So just look for a raised edge. So this one's got a raised edge there. So you go over that. Grab it. Peel that off. This bit, this, this edge is raised. So we'll pull this edge off. As you can see. Red and black. So put that over there, we'll do it with these ones as well. This is always a fun bit when you pull these masks off. Red. Red bit there. So that's do. Say look for a raised edge because that's lifting here on this edge. Start the start of your tank. So, like I said, I'll, I'll show you how I fix that as well. I missed, I messed up a little bit here, as you can see. 
I've bled over onto this panel a bit. <coughs> so all I'm going to do is get Corvus Black back into my airbrush. And I'm going to ghost it back to black. A bit of paint. So. So. This part here has been over. This part here, focus. This part here has been got a bit of overspray on it, so I'm just gonna quietly. Oop, water spray. Oop, spraying. Dry that off a minute. Alright, try that again. So. As you can see, I've blown it back. So that's how you see so if you make a mistake, you can go backwards and forwards. You can see, blown it back, it's fine. So that's it guys. So that's that's how you get to your basic body colour. Uh, this candy red and the black. Like I say, we're gonna varnish this next for that being part two, we'll varnish it. We'll varnish it and we'll do we'll do the metallics on the guns. And I'll show you how to do the metallics down here and on here. Like I said, we're going to base coat these with Vallejo metallic black. It'd be a boring video if you just sat there 20 minutes watching me paint that. But as you can see, I hope this helped, guys. And in part two, we'll do the next stage. It's probably going to be a three parter, but you're getting the general idea. And if you've got any questions or another tutorial you want me to do, anything like that, just give me a shout. I'll see what we can do. Bye for now. Cheers, guys.